Welcome to Hobby Adventures. So I'm in the middle of making a couple of train run videos and some of my trains have been acting very sporadic. They need a good cleaning. So I figured that this would be a perfect opportunity to show you guys on how I clean the wheels on my trains. For the Dr. Yellow, most of these cars I'm gonna be able to do this method. There's only gonna be one car that I'm not going to be able to do on all the, these cars and then I'll show you guys on how I clean the wheels on the motor car. Some of the stuff that I'm going to be using is this rubbing alcohol 99% and paper towel. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to soak an area with this rubbing alcohol. So we put the paper towel on the track and just grab your car. I'm going to take them out one at a time and just run it over. back and forth as such. Oh, that was really dirty. <laughs> so then next what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide it over little bit and there you go that's looking a lot better all right so that is it for just the um, regular cars for the motor car I'm going to be using a different method the reason is I have traction tires so there's one traction tire on this set of bogies and then traction tires on the that set of bogies now if I put these rubber tires on the alcohol, what the alcohol will end up doing is actually dry out the tires and then the rubber is going to be brittle and it'll break. So the only way to avoid that is actually to clean it by hand. So I'm going to get some Q-tips and dip that in rubbing alcohol and then just clean it up. What would probably make things easier is if I take out the bogies. So there's the drive shaft. I'm gonna take that out so I don't lose it. And then take that one out. So how am I gonna do this is I'm gonna put that upside down over here and I'm gonna put this drive shaft on that side and this drive shaft on that side so I know what's what. And I'll put that boogie over there. So we're gonna be working on with this boogie first. And at the same time, since I'm in here, I can pull out some fluff. I might need the drive shaft for this. So now I can use the drive shaft to turn the wheels and to clean it. All right, so I dipped the Q-tip in the rubbing alcohol and now uh, just rub the wheel. So as I said, I'm cleaning all the wheels except for the one with the traction tires. I don't wanna get alcohol on that. All right, let's do the next one. All right, so that's it. Let's uh, put it back together. All right.
ready. Motor car is back together. All right, let's turn it on and see if it works. All right, so the lights turned on. You can see in here, those lights turned on. Most of the track, most of my wheels are all metal wheels anyway, so the the secondary passenger line and the freight line, they're all running metal wheels. This is the passenger line, the main passenger high speed line is the only one that has any wheels that have traction tires. So that usually picks up a lot of uh, grime and just crud and it dis disperts it all, all, all across the track. So I'm always constantly cleaning the passenger line and you know, once in a while we have to do some maintenance here for the for the train so that they run smooth. I hope everybody enjoyed the videos. Until next time, keep on modeling.